Oh, the day has arrived. Gamescom 2021, the Forza footage has just been released as of this recording a few minutes ago. And I think it's safe to say the hype for Forza Horizon 5 later this November has only been multiplied in my case. So, August 24th, 2021, today, Forza has just released some new footage of the game showing the intro which is playing right now on your screen honestly this has to be one of the coolest intros to a forza game i've ever seen heck this even rivals forza horizon 3's intro which i'm pretty sure was the first of its kind to have that sort of intro type thing but hold on let's backtrack for a little bit as you saw in the beginning of the video you start off in the brand new ford bronco in a cargo plane currently flying to Mexico, only for said cargo plane to tell you to pull a Fast and Furious and literally drop right out of the sky like you're playing some game of Warzone or something. Upon making landfall, you drive down the volcano in arguably one of the most coolest shots in Forza intro history. Don't at me. After a brief off-roading section, you come across a racetrack, first shot of that in the actual game, and we move on to the next area where the war zone like, wait a minute. Cargo plane is getting ready to drop another deuce and look, it's the Street Hunter C8. Honestly, I think this part of the intro is runner up for the best looking part of the intro so far. It's all so nice and lush and showing off a different part of the map. Wait, what's that cloud in the distance? Ah, shit. It's the music. And away we trot to another biome, the war zone cargo plane is dropping off another car oh wait it's the desert flyer on my life if i saw cars flying from the sky like this in real life i think the world is ending because in the words of brian o'connor oh, rest in peace paul do 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 just driving along my amount of business so what's the plane doing what the fuck there's no way that cargo plane should be able to do that. This is so unrealistic. If I tried doing something like that in GTA, it would end up something like this. Deliver these cars to the Horizon Festival. Going to Mexico. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's do it. I don't think there was a military base in Mexico. Huh, that's weird. Just like in the game. Just like in Forza. Don't worry, just follow me, guys. I got this. I got this. Yeah. Oh, that actually worked. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah! You see what I mean? Anyways, the final little section is obviously the main section towards the Horizon Festival. And of course, there's no better car to do it in than the AMG Project 1. I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in saying that this is my favorite part of the intro. I mean, just look at it. It's freaking epic. Just the energy, the vibe, the car, the plane speeding that fast. Seriously, how does he do that? All building towards this final push towards the finish line, which kind of reminds me of the Forza Horizon 2 Fast and Furious DLC. It's gonna feel awesome playing this on November 5th, so I can't freaking wait. And wouldn't you know it, they also released a cover cars trailer showcasing the new cover cars for Forza Horizon 5. Those being the brand new Ford Bronco Badlands and the Mercedes AMG Project One. Might as well call us Billy Mays cuz I'm not done yet! After the stellar Gamescom presentation, we were graced with another episode of the Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go Stream series. The stream kicked off with arguably one of the more cooler Forza Edition cars to come down the peak in recent memory. That being the Ford Coupe Forza Edition with this sick Horizon Festival livery. One thing I missed due to jumping in late on the stream was the car selection screen that they usually have at the beginning of the game. And to be honest, we got a pretty good selection of cars here. We have the C8 with the Street Hunter body kit on, the new Ford Bronco, and the Supra to follow it up. I think I know what everyone's choosing. With our weapon of choice selected, it's time to head to the nearest showcase event. This should be interesting. Now bear with me here because I can barely contain my excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kazi V2 
has arrived in the Forza Horizon series. And albeit it's not his new It's a Living livery that he runs for the 2021 season, and technically he's not driving it this year, a kid named Jax Redline is, it's still awesome to see this thing in the game and I can't wait to rip it around Mexico. From then on, for the most part of the stream, they just go free roam around some parts of the map with different vehicles, which I thought was pretty cool. One little tidbit about the Project 1 that I didn't expect us to have control over is switching it from track mode to the street mode that it usually drives around in. Just one push of the button can take this thing from race ready track car to sleek city cruiser. I can only assume that's how the convertibles like the 720S are gonna work as well. They didn't say anything about that in the stream though. Honestly, I kinda like this little escort they showed off in the driving demo. Sure, it's not as, say, powerful as the Kaze V2, but hey, it's still pretty cool. But the real eye-opener for me was this Ford F450 diesel, something I never thought we'd see in a Forza game until now. Obviously, we had all the other Fords and Forza games in the past, but I never thought we'd actually see a full-blown truck like this in a Forza game before. It's gonna be pretty interesting. They even gave us one more special treat with the Sierra RX-3. It's mainly a heavily off-road based buggy, but apparently it could also do some madness on the streets as well. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for yet another Forza Breakdown video. I really love doing these because it really gets me hyped up as we count down to November 5th or November 9th when the game releases on both regular edition and the Ultimate Edition. Of course, if you guys wanna see more of these videos, y'all know what to do. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more from me, KP, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>